can you please explain how the himalayas were formed and what is the importance of this mountain range for the subcontinent or the entire world so the himalayas were formed because of tectonic activity see the, uh, let me do i have a map here i do have a map just a second let me share the map with you um just a minute okay here is the map this is our planet as you can see this here is india so what happens is that this planet of ours it uh, if you look at the cross section of the planet uh, you have a very thin solid crust which is the upper 1 or 2% of the earth okay and inside you have a a layer of magma which is molten rock and if you go deeper you have the core of the earth which is made up of molten metal and then you have a solid metal inner core of the earth so this magma this layer of magma which is below the mantle of the earth and the mantle is below the crust this magma is a liquid it is liquid rock it flows inside the earth and this f- activity this flowing activity of the magma causes what is known as tectonic activity of the earth's crust so you have portion of the earth uh, various portions of the earth's crust that move over time very slowly but they do move and these movements cause the uh, changes in the structure of the continents of the earth so there was a time when all the continents of the earth were united in one in one supercontinent called pangaea and then they drifted they drifted away and this is the structure that we have today so about 60 uh, how long ago was this about 100 million years ago or so india the peninsular part of india was attached to southern southeastern africa so if you look at madagascar here you can see that the shape of madagascar kind of fits here like a jigsaw puzzle in the eastern coast of africa and if you see the shape of this peninsular part of india that also kind of fits into this into this uh, shape here in the southern part of africa so madagascar and india were attached to africa and because of tectonic activity the peninsular part of india was thrown out was expelled from africa and it shot across the indian ocean and it collided into the eurasian landmass and this collision which happened at a very slow rate and yet it was produced by immense forces from within the earth so this collision between the indian subcontinental landmass and the eurasian landmass this cataclysmic collision pushed the himalayas upwards and that's how the himalayas were born and if you go to the himalayas if you climb up the himalayas if you climb several thousand meters up you will still find fossils of fish several thousand meters above sea level because that region was once under water it was once an ocean and it was expelled up because of the uh, collision between the between the indian landmass and the eurasian landmass between these two tectonic plates so that's how the himalayas were formed let me show you a different image just a second let me show a different image okay if you see this it makes it a little more clear you can kind of see the you can uh, this is this is a map of the ocean floor you can kind of see the under under ocean structure of the planet if if all the water is removed and you can kind of see the kind of movement which uh, which took place so it it gives you a better idea of how these uh, pieces of the jigsaw puzzle fit together once upon a time about 100 million years ago so that is that kind of illustrates the kind of tectonic activity that took place over the eons and that is how the himalayan mountain range was formed up in the north of india